Hi there. Good morning. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Five days until Nancy. I'm pretty sure it's five days. Today's Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. Hopefully, maybe I'll see her later in the day on Monday. Monday we go, but we have to set up our trailer. That could take a little while, you know, leveling it, hooking it up, all that sort of stuff. But you never know. I can, one can hope. So five days till Nancy. Woohoo! Very excited about that. I have a whole bunch of things on my desk today. In fact, my desk is a mess. I'm working on like four different journals at once. <clears throat> so who knows when they will when they will all come about. Uh, I have been tear edging the um, the cut side for the papers that are going to go into As You Like It. And uh, you know what? I can hear my phone going in the other room. No, oh, no, it's over. All right, so um, I've been tear edging this and I love it. I think that looks really, really nice. So I will keep doing that. I have been, um, I don't think I've got anything further done on, on words since last we spoke. Um, I have definitely not done anything further on um, Journeys Through Bookland. But I have been working on the little... Hold on, I'm way over here. This little French reader that I am altering. And uh, it's taking quite a while. It's, it's drying right now. <coughs> Pardon me. So it, um, I'm gluing pages together, and, uh, and so it's coming along, but I'm just taking my time, and you know, when, when this one dries, I'll, I'll glue this one down, and then I have them bundled together so I know which ones I want glued together, so I've just used post-it notes and uh, glued them together. So I'll put these back under my bricks. Over here, sorry about leaving you for a second. There we go. All right, so I wanted to show you what I found at my Dollar Tree today, and I'm so excited. These have always been my favorite clips. I like them I don't, just for me. I prefer them over this kind of clip. I actually, if it's if I'm going to put it onto a cover, like sometimes you need to hold down paper on covers and that, I prefer these even to this kind. Sometimes that edge can dig into the cover. So I prefer it over this kind. Um, I just really love them, and I've never found them again. And in fact... I mean, I've had these ones for a couple of years, and I couldn't remember where I got them from. And I guess I must have got them from Dollar Tree, because I was at Dollar Tree yesterday, and they had them there again, so I bought two packs. Because I, at the time, I only bought myself one pack before, and uh, was mad at myself. So, now I'm happy. I've got a whole bunch of... Uh, a, bunch, a whole bunch of new pretty ones. Wahoo! Oh, let's get these out. Oh, come on. There we go. So, they're just really great. And they're nice and strong. I don't know. I just find that that rounded edge, and they're not, they're strong, but they're not ridiculous. Some of these kind are just, oh my goodness, you've got to have like super strength like that one my goodness that's that's tough so these ones i love them i'm a happy camper now so if you think this is the kind of plant that you might like um head over to your dollar tree maybe they've got them at your dollar tree now as well um so i'm going to put these in my little in my little clamp case there we go. There we go. Now, um, 
what else have I got on my desk here? Oh, well, speaking of Nancy, so I, if you recall, um, a couple months ago, two months ago, Valentina sent me a wonderful bag of whale tail tabs um, because I was trying to make my own whale tail tabs because you can't get the punch anymore. And if you if you can find the whale tail punch from Stampin' Up, uh, uh, like on eBay, like I saw it on eBay for $95. Not kidding you, $95. Um, so I have been thoroughly enjoying, and I love all these from Valentina because I don't have any of these scrapbook paper patterns that are in here. So I've really been enjoying using these. But that said, speaking of my crafty crush, Nancy, and how she spoils me, I forgot to share with you. Look what she sent me. The woman comes through. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that something? Oh my goodness. I am just, I'm over the moon. I've got my own whale tail punch. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. So, so I've got the best of both worlds because Valentina, you came through for me, girl. And I am going to use every last one of these up because I love them so much. So many patterns in there that I do not have. And I'm really enjoying them. But now I've got the best of both worlds because if I am using a particular scrapbook paper and I want the tabs to match, I'm going to be able to punch them out now. Mm. So I'm spoiled rotten. Valentina spoils me. Nancy spoils me. I'm going to see her. So, so that's... Uh, I'm feeling very blessed and very spoiled, which is lovely. So um, I guess I can just get a little bit of work done. It's it's not exciting today. Let me move that. I don't think, oh wait, I got a couple things. Um, my, my car veered off the directions today. I was heading to the grocery store and somehow it took me over to uh, Vincent, Vincent de Paul's store. And I found, um, um, this, everything was 50% off. Well, not everything, but the things I wanted were 50% off. So I found this book, Tony's Scrapbook, which I thought, I love a, I love an interesting front page. Tony's Scrapbook. And uh, it's the 1934-35 edition, so it sort of gives me an idea. Oh, so it was put, published in 1934. And it's just a whole bunch of little things that this guy, Tony, just gathers and, and puts together. I've seen his books before. There he is. Look at the man. He's a historical hottie. My goodness. Doesn't he look like he could be in a swashbuckler movie? <laughs> Anyhow, so these pages just look delightful. I'll use a few of the pages in it, I think. Or I may... Um, I may alter this if I enjoy it's a nice size for altering it's not too thick but this uh no look at that it's already uh, gutting itself for me okay well decision made <laughs> yeah that's already coming apart <sighs> all right anyhow um it said three dollars uh it was 50 percent off so it was a dollar fifty let's I don't like the way St. Vincent de Paul does their price tags because they put a little paper price tag on it and then they tape over the price tag. I guess sometimes their price tags don't stick. Okay, that came off. That one made a liar out of me. Usually it just turns into a mess. Usually this sticks way too much and then the paper just encourages the bad behavior. So, Anyhow, I thought that was cute. And then I got this bag. I wanted a little bag that I could throw in the camper with uh, just some little things. Um, 
like uh, if I wanted to throw some pens, pencils, and maybe a paintbrush in. I think this is a makeup bag, but it's perfect for what I want, and I love that it's wipeable, and I could fit in, like, my sketchbook and my bullet journal will fit in here. These things come out, which is nice. It looks like it's missing something that must have gone there. Sometimes these have a flip-flop side to it. That's fine. I don't think I would have used it. Anyhow, it um, this is just exactly what I was hoping I would find. I wanted it small, compact, hold, um, you know, like for here, I could, um, if I was thinking of doing a little bit of work, that would hold my, my distress ink my brush I'd be good to go there do you see what I mean it's just a terrific little a terrific little case perfect size perfect size for what I want and uh, it was two dollars and uh, fifty percent off it was a dollar so I'm happy I'm happy with that. So I came away, uh, I spent $2.50 at St. Vincent de Paul. Anyhow, so I'm just, I have cut the scrapbook paper. If you recall, I gutted a, a um, sketchbook um, that I got, uh, purchased new um, at our local Dollarama. And I, I gutted it. And these are all the ones that came out without misbehaving. And I have a few. The ones that glue to the back of the spine, they usually will give me grief. So there's quite a few here. I think I'm still going to fold them the other way and just put a few short ones in and just make use of the entire, the entire block. So, um... So it's terribly exciting today, but I am simply tearing the edges. See, that's crooked a bit. Mm -hmm. No, because there's a few in here. I got a couple. That's why it's not crooked. I had a few. There we go. Much better. Yeah, so I'm, I'm so excited to finally go see Nancy. We, we've only met once in all this time. We've met once. Um, it was actually for my birthday. She came out and took me out for breakfast on my birthday. And that was in 2019. Um, and we did a little bit of thrifting and it was wonderful. So anyhow, um, so I will be heading out into her her neck of the woods this time uh, which I'm very excited about and she's right if you watch her um, there's a lovely little campground right near her that we've been to before but little did I know my crush was like right around the corner all that time and it does have I've camped from coast to coast and uh, this little campground has the cleanest facilities I have ever seen at a campground ever and they even have lovely music piped in you know for your seated pleasure <laughs> and like this is silk flowers in the corner and I don't know if they'd still have the silk flowers after COVID I think you I think places are restricted to what can be sanitized and such <laughs> so I'll be interested to see if the silk flowers are still there um, I'll post pictures <laughs> But it's, uh, anyhow, lovely, clean washroom. Not that we use washrooms when we're camping because our, our um, travel trailer is fully equipped. So we have our own, our own toilet and shower and, and all that. We have a full bathroom in it. So we're very spoiled. Um, but I always like to check out the washroom because uh, sometimes I'll leave a little review on particularly nice campgrounds and I definitely will um I have an Instagram account our camping Instagram account and I will even say if there's anything in particular that uh, stands out to me about a campground I'll post it on my camping um 
Instagram account so that if others are interested in heading out to this little campground. Um, and maybe they're, they use tents or maybe their little trailer doesn't, isn't fully equipped. Um, they'll have nice, they'll know that there's lovely facilities to, for that, for their use. Um, oh, anyhow, so back to Nancy. I, I keep getting off track. So we are hoping to do at least one video together. Uh, when we're there and we thought maybe this would be a good time um, for a Q&A. So that said, on this video here, down in the comments underneath, if you've got a question for me that you'd love an answer to, um, write it down. And uh, if we've got enough time, hopefully we will get to a little Q&A and, uh, and answer some questions. And you know what? It can just be whatever has popped into your mind. So it could be on, it could be junk journal related or art related. It could be something personal. Maybe you've always wondered about me and not too personal. Or, you know, <laughs> I may be choosy, <laughs> but you know what I mean. So um, if you've got a question that you'd like to ask me, write it down below. And if you've got a question that you'd like to ask Nancy, uh, head on over to her channel. Actually, I'll put a link to hers down below. Head on over there and type your question for Nancy uh, on her channel. And that way I can write out my questions uh, ahead of time. I'm just going to put them on like index cards if I get any. You know what? Maybe I, I know I'm such a blabbermouth. You probably already know everything you need to know. I'm one of those people that if it's if it's in my brain, it comes out my mouth. So it could very well be that everything you want to know, you know. But if not, and you've got a question, post it below. Post Nancy's over on her site, and we'll, we're hopefully going to have uh, a little fun. And hopefully, maybe even when we go thrifting, uh, we'll bring our cameras along when we go thrifting. That would be fun, too. So we'll see. I'm so looking forward to it. Boy, we've waited a long time. Um, especially, I mean, in this great big, huge, wide, huge world, <laughs> um, it's just such a funny thing to find uh, someone so compatible and, you know, when I say well, we're next door neighbors, well, when you consider how big the world is, two hours away really is <laughs> next door neighbors, really. So, um, I'm glad for that. I'm grateful for that. And we're going to, uh, we're going to have a nice time. I'm sure of it. Because even if it rains, we can... Uh, we can hit the stores even if it's raining. Uh, the campground that we're going to has, um, it's a new world with campgrounds. This campground has internet and cable TV. <laughs> so my husband will be a happy boy. And besides that, he usually brings movies and, and such. He's always got something to do puttering around Cutting around the trailer. He says he wants to wax it. And then, you know how I just say if you, I distress ink everything, and if you stand beside me for too long, I might distress ink you. Well, he will, he loves waxing vehicles and making them nice and shiny. And if you stand too close to him for too long and you look like you got nothing to do, um, you could end up waxed. <laughs> and and not in a Brazilian kind of way. <laughs> You're going to get like shiny waxed. So, so he has promised me that he's got lots he can do if Nancy and I want to hit the road and hit some stores. So that'll be fun. Oh, oh, I forgot to do it. What I've been doing here, when you, when you tear off the paper, of course, it 
displaces it and roughs it up, of course, which is what I want. But I do like to smooth it down. And usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll use the ruler and just push down it and run it right off the edge. And that smooths it all down. In case you were wondering what I was doing and why I was doing that. There we go. I have no idea what I'm making for dinner tonight. I think we're going to have salmon and salad. I love summertime. I can just, I can do something and salad, you know, chicken and salad or kebabs and salad, salmon and salad. It's, uh, it's easy. There we go. So see what I'll do? I'll, oh, I'll show you. See how that's really, really rough and sticking up this way. So what I will do is just run it off the page a couple times if I need to. And then it's much smoother. So you still have your rough edge. But this, in this direction, it's smooth. There we go. So, you know what? This is one of those reasons, you know, when people wonder about junk journals. Well, why don't you have more in your shop? <laughs> you know what? If they could come here to my room and watch me for however long this takes... <laughs> tear edging every single page to go into the book <laughs> or that altered book where I can only glue like four pages a day because it takes forever to dry <laughs> then it makes sense why there isn't more journals in my shop and plus you know what I do it because I enjoy it so I'm not mass producing them. I, I make one and I love making it and then I move on. So that explains a lot too. There we go. Very good. Hubby refilled our bird feeder today so all the goldfinch are back. Oh my goodness, they're such beautiful little birds. They make me happy. Bright yellow birds. Oh, I did two haircuts yesterday. It was wonderful. Ah. Oh. Um, because we were all vaccinated. Um, my daughter came over and my little granddaughter. I have the cutest little granddaughter. Well, I have lots of cute little granddaughters. I have lots of grandchildren. <laughs> Um, but Audrey came over and she, um, she likes a little pixie cut. She likes her hair easy and, uh, I don't blame her. When I was a little girl, I usually had a pixie cut too. Uh, she brought me artwork. Hold on. Let me show you our Audrey's artwork. Where did it go? It's on the wall up here. She helped me put it up on the wall. So this is the picture that Audrey brought and she signed it so you can see Audrey there I'm wondering if this is also her signature I should have asked her this is her and this is me because blue is her favorite color and red is my favorite color so um, this is a picture of Audrey and I and it's just beautiful <laughs> she was so excited so I brought her up here to my art room and uh, I said, okay, help me pick out some pretty tape and we'll put it on the wall. So that was, um, that was wonderful. And then she got a haircut because she could barely see out from under her bangs. And mommy got a haircut and she's feeling much cooler. So uh, that was a treat. I don't have a salon in my house anymore, but I do have sort of a little area set up in my laundry room where I can still do cuts. But for the most part, I don't do any color anymore. 
um, you know, I used to have a full salon in my house when I was working full time and at my old house. And I had, you know, shampoo basin and I had a couple of chairs, the special, you know, the barber chairs that are hydraulic and um, that sort of thing. I had a full room devoted TV so that the ladies could just watch TV while the colors process. <laughs> um, and boy, was that ever nice to have for all those years. But when we moved here, I, I just didn't see the point of renovating a whole room when I really didn't intend to do you know a full 40-hour work week anymore it just didn't seem cost effective to start renovating and you know you've got to put you got to put tiles in behind the sink because water and color splashes everywhere and you've got to be able to wipe it down and clean it because even with a home salon you must follow the government safety and um, you know sanitary uh, guidelines the health protocol so um, because they are allowed to inspect even home salons I, I never got inspected over the years but I was ready for them because I am a stickler for that you know keeping my keeping my utensils in barbicide and and such um, anyhow so now with this house it's smaller and uh, so I just I have a little I have a little functional setup right in my laundry room and it works and it does the trick and I can mostly just do haircuts and that's enough my husband was one of the few people that kept going into work during the pandemic and and continued to look good <laughs> it helps when you are uh, married to a licensed barber <laughs> so he continued to look uh, clean and snappy dappy at work while everyone else was <laughs> really looking shaggy <laughs> poor guy even now they're lined up I can't cut my own hair very well I really really thick weavy hair and I just cannot cut my own you can color your own hair very well when you're stylist but it's really quite tricky to cut your own um, so I really do rely on going to the hairdressers myself to get a haircut and all the hairdressers I ever kept in touch with and worked with over the years all live far away now so I have a little salon right here in the neighborhood. I can walk over and uh, they do a nice job. They do a nice cut and um, I can just walk home again. But even they, because they're limited how many people are allowed in at a time because of the COVID restrictions, um, I can't go in and get my hair cut until actually the day after I get back from camping uh, near Nancy next week. So. So my hair is going to be long and shaggy when you see me on camera. So no laughing. Let me see what time it is. Um, hold on. Oh, I'm going to try and move my camera. And if I disconnect you, thanks for joining me. But let's see. Oh, I've got two minutes. Okay. <sighs> there we go. I can do a couple more. Um, yeah, so I can't, I won't be getting my hair cut till I get back from camping. And you know what, in a way that's good, because when you're camping, it's just so easy to throw your hair in a ponytail and be done with it. It looks tidy, it's out of the way, if it's hot, it's off of your neck. So, that's a bonus. Oh, I didn't reset my clock. All right, well, let's, I'll do one more and then I will bid you adieu. So don't forget, don't forget if you've got any questions for me for next week's, but write it down today, down in the comments below. If you got any questions, art related, junk journal related, um, just questions about me in, in particular that you've often wondered about um i'll do my best to answer them 
And, uh, and if there's no questions, then you know what, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to, I'm going to be like, uh, a, an interviewer and I'll interview Nancy. <laughs> I'll read her questions to her. How's that? <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. So looking forward to this. I was, we were hoping to do this last summer and, uh, our little doggy was quite sick off and on last summer and um, we just we didn't want to veer too far away from our own regular vet here and as it turned out when she did decide the day to go it really was in a flurry of a flurry of activity she just wasn't right one morning and by lunch we had said goodbye so we're kind of glad that um, we followed our gut and we just stayed home last summer and enjoyed time with her. We did get the whole summer with her, which was lovely. Um, anyhow, let me look at the time. Yep, I gotta go. I'm at 30 minutes. I'm on, oh, 31 minutes. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, go out and make it a good one, and write down your questions down below, and uh, boy, five, five days till Nancy. Woohoo. We'll talk soon. Bye.